Hi everyone, my name is Joey. Welcome to this online physical education lesson. So today we're going to be learning about how being active can help us keep our hearts healthy and strong. And the reason why we're talking about this is because a healthy heart lets you live as many adventures as possible. When your heart is healthy and strong, you're able to be active for longer periods of time without getting too tired. And that can help you get the most out of each and every day. So your learning targets for today are as follows. I can understand how my heart works. I can explain how physical activity helps me keep my heart healthy and strong. So remember that learning is a journey and every person learns at their own pace and in their own style. That being said, one of the most important things you can do to be a successful learner is to set a goal for your own learning. So let's take a peek at today's learning roadmap to try and figure out where we're currently at in our learning and see what's our next step that we should be taking in order to keep moving forward as a learner. So here are the four levels of our learning roadmap today. At the not yet level, that means you do not understand how being active affects your heart yet. At getting there, that means that you know that being active makes your heart work harder, but you don't really understand why. At got it, you understand why being active can help make your heart grow stronger. And at wow, you understand that your, what your heart does in your body, why being active makes it stronger, and what kind of physical activity works best for keeping it healthy and strong. Okay, so take a peek at those four levels. And once you've kind of figured out where you think you're at right now in your learning, I want you just to think, or you can even say it out loud. Set yourself a goal, your next goal that you want to achieve in this lesson, and that will help you stay on track so you keep learning. So take a second right now. Think about your goal. Got it? Okay, let's move into today's lesson. So today's lesson is all about your heart, which is one of your most important organs in your body. Now, understanding how your heart works, understanding what its job is in your, in your body, understanding how it grows stronger, understanding all of those things can help you keep your heart healthy so that you can continue and live a life full of adventures and avoid anything like disease or illness. Now, that being said, I'm a teacher. I'm not a scientist and I'm not a doctor. So what I thought I would do to help you learn more about your heart is link to two awesome videos, one from my friends over at Peekaboo Kids, another one from SciShow Kids, that's going to explain to you how the heart works, what's its job in the body, and also what happens to your heart when you exercise. So what I would invite you to do is right now, hit pause on this video, go check out those links down in the description below, watch those two videos really quick. They're not very long, three to four minutes each. And then once you've done that, come back to this video and we'll recap what we've learned and get into our first activity. All right, you're back. Did you like the videos? I thought they were great. I'm a really visual learner. So being able to see all those animations just makes it so much easier for me to understand exactly what's happening when our heart is pumping inside of our body. So let's recap what we learned in those two videos. So the heart is a muscle whose main job is to pump blood through your body. Your heart delivers oxygen rich blood to your body through tubes called arteries. Once your body has used the oxygen, your heart pumps blood rich in carbon dioxide back towards itself using tubes called veins. When you're active, your muscles need more oxygen, so your heart has to work harder in order to carry that oxygen via the blood to all of the working parts of your body. And just like any other muscle, when you work your heart on a regular basis, it grows stronger. So now that we know how the heart works, let's go out and be active so we can get our heart working and try and help it grow stronger. So for today, our activity that we're going to be doing is an activity called Pokemon Fitness Scavenger Hunt. And you're going to need a few things to play this activity at home. First of all, you're going to need the Pokemon card printout sheet that I've included in the description below. You can find a link there. Once you have the sheet, you're going to want to cut each card out and then give each card to your parents and ask them to go hide these cards in all kinds of different places around the house. 
Make sure you're not peeking because that would take away from the fun of the activity. You're also going to need your Pokedex card. This is how you're going to keep track of the Pokemon that you found. In this set of Pokemon cards, there are 15 Pokemon, so you're going to try and find all 15 of them that are hiding around your house. You're going to need a coin, which is your Pokecoin, which is what you're going to use to catch the Pokemon. And finally, you're going to need a pencil just so that you can write down all the Pokemon information once you've found one. So once you have everything ready, here's how you play. So like I mentioned earlier, the first thing you're going to want to do is ask your parents to go hide all 15 of those Pokemon cards around the house. Ask them to be really creative with it so it's really hard to find one because there's nothing more exciting than finding a Pokemon hiding underneath your bed or inside of a drawer somewhere. Then you're going to take your Pokecoin and your Pokedex and your pencil and you're going to go around trying to find Pokemon and try to catch them. Here's how you catch a Pokemon. When you find a Pokemon card, you're going to try and catch it by flipping a coin and trying to get heads. If you get heads, you've caught that Pokemon and you get to write it down in your Pokedex. If you don't get heads, if you get tails, you miss the Pokemon and you're not allowed to try and catch that Pokemon again until the next day or if you catch another Pokemon. So for example, if I find Bulbasaur hiding underneath my bed and I flip and I get tails and I missed it, I'm not allowed to catch Bulbasaur again until I go catch another Pokemon. So let's say I find Charmander hiding in my bedroom closet, all right, and I get heads and I've caught it, then I'm allowed to go back to where I know Bulbasaur is hiding and try and catch them again. Now on each Pokemon card, it says the Pokemon's name and it also says their type. The Pokemon's type is gonna determine what kind of exercise you need to do to try and catch that Pokemon. When you try and catch a Pokemon, you always have a choice between using a Pokeball, which gives you one flip of the coin, a Great Ball, which gives you three flips of the coin, or an Ultra Ball, which gives you five flips of the coin. Remember, you only have to get heads once in those flips in order to catch that Pokemon. Now, since the Ultra Ball gives you five flips, the Great Ball gives you three, obviously, you're going to have to do more exercise to be able to use those Pokeballs to try and catch the Pokemon. It's always your choice to decide which Pokeball you want to use when you're trying to catch a Pokemon. But if you want to have the best chances possible, you have to do more exercise. Good news for you, doing more exercise means that you're working your body harder, which means your heart has to work harder, which means that your heart is going to grow healthy and strong as you're on this Pokemon hunt. So go out and explore your home, try and see if you can find those Pokemon cards hiding all over the place. Do your exercises so that you can flip your Pokecoin and see if you're able to catch all 15 Pokemon in this set. When you're done playing today's Pokemon game, I'm going to invite you to come back and reflect on our learning targets for today's lesson. Remember, those targets were, I can understand how my heart works, and I can explain how physical activity helps me keep my heart healthy and strong. So to see if you've reached those targets, what I'm going to ask you to do is, when your parents have a second and you're sitting down together as a family, try to explain to your parents in your own words what does the heart do inside of the body? How does it work? And how did the Pokemon Scavenger Hunt game help you grow your heart stronger by getting you active? If you feel really comfortable explaining those things to, those parent, to your parents, it probably means that today was a really successful lesson for you. So give yourself a big old pat on the back. Be proud of yourself because that means that you not only worked hard today, but you learned something that's going to keep serving you your whole life. So thank you so much for tuning in to today's online physical education lesson. My name is Joey. If you're not one of my students, I hope that this helped you. Um, I'm so looking forward to releasing more Pokemon cards, but also more physical education lessons that can help you keep growing competent and confident while we're at home in quarantine. Thank you so much for all of your hard work today. I'm so, so proud of you. Keep yourself healthy and strong, and I'll see you soon.